Let's talk about, uh, Lex Luger. We've heard this story from Tony Schiavone. Charlie thrower is a listener to this show and clearly listens to Tony's podcast. He says, please tell us about Luger having his shrimp peeled for him at the bar. I don't know what bar they were at. Supposedly Tony Schiavone went to a bar with the horseman once and Lex Luger wore a sleeveless shirt that day to the bar and decided after he got out of the car, he needed to oil his arms up before he went inside. And then he posted up near the bar, ordered some shrimp and then paid the bartender to peel the shrimp for him because he didn't want quote unquote stinky fingers. And I thought this was one of the funniest Lex Luger stories I'd ever heard. You got anything that can compete with that as far as a uh, funny Lex Luger story? Well, for sure. He wasn't drinking. If uh, he was eating shrimp with oiled up arms, it just doesn't seem like the thing to be doing. Uh, (laughs) I'm certain that if I would have seen that and I wasn't drinking much, I would have kicked it in because that would have horrified me. Um, I don't know. I was just always one of those guys that I would drink till I was done drinking and then I would eat. So that whole rationale doesn't work for me. Once I eat, I'm tired. I'm ready to get a nap. So whatever night this was that Tony was with us, I must have not been in the area or in the bar that night because I do not recall that. Uh, Anthony Valadez wants to know, did you ever live in Van Nuys, California? My next door neighbor looked just like you. If not, what was the favorite place you ever lived and why? Oh, that poor fella. They thought he looked like me. He might want to find a cliff to jump off of. Uh, my favorite place to live, I guess, is Charlotte because it's home. But second place is Pensacola, Florida. Best kept secret in America. Most beautiful beaches you have ever seen. Everything is priced for a military town. So you can get a chunk of house for very, very reasonable when the, when the water is blue green and that white sand, that's about a foot deep, just like sugar. It is as beautiful as any place in the Caribbean. It's a, it's, it's really wonderful, really wonderful beaches. 